hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a different video i'm going to be doing a what i eat in a day it is saturday and i'm home by myself so i can kind of be a little bit more adventurous with food because my husband is not that adventurous with foods and um but anyway so i'm gonna let you guys i'm gonna prepare um, breakfast lunch and dinner today of what i eat and show you guys what i do very simple things nothing crazy um but i want to share with you guys because i'm kind of like in a a health journey i guess like a, a lifestyle change i should say because it's something i want to stick with not just like a diet i guess you would say um but yeah let's get into the video this is but mm. lunch, I am going to be doing an arugula salad and I already have my arugula prepped and it's dry I've already washed it this is how much arugula I have I don't know if I'll end up using this much but it should be enough for today and then I have like more in the fridge so I can just add it to this if I'd like um I I'm not too hungry for lunch right now, but so I'm not going to do like too much. I'm just going to kind of throw what I have in the salad. Um, and I don't have that much stuff, but I do have an onion that I need to cut up and then a tomato I that, that I need to cut up. Ooh, so I'll probably just do that and then like just throw things in there as I find them around here. got my onions I did some like spiral or these kind of cut onions for my salad and then I'm just gonna leave this one for whatever I think I'll I would definitely won't use all these for today but arugula is like one of my favorite greens um, I always get this like when I go to kava or when I go out to dinner sorry let me put this other one more I discovered arugula that I loved arugula when I was in Greece. I had this amazing Greek salad. The time to assemble. All right, so I'm gonna put as much as I think I need. I think I'll probably just use the whole thing actually. Oh, I wish I could have feta on top, but I gotta thaw that out first. I did not think about this. I've literally had this in my fridge to make um, that TikTok pasta for like a few months. And I put it in the fridge or the freezer. I forgot about it. It's still good. Let's thaw that out. Um, put some tomato on top. Yummy. Um, I'll just put the rest of the tomato on here. And I'll tear up some cheese. Oh my god, this looks so good. I have some candied um, cranberries and walnuts. And then I got some pecan pieces as well that I'll add on top of there. I love a, I love a good crunch. Oh my god. It's so good. And then the cranberries add like a nice sweetness to it. A little more. The cranberry and the pecan pieces. And the walnuts too. They're glazed. Mmm. Um, 
I thought I had a yogurt vinaigrette, but this is the Asian, Asian sesame with ginger and soy dressing. This is the Ken and Steak, Ken Steakhouse. Um, it's really, really good. And I'm going to drizzle that on top. Mix, mix, mix. Probably need a little bit more dressing. Get tomato. Ooh. It's a chicken salad without the chicken. Um, you can totally add a protein. I just don't have any on me right now. Like a grilled chicken breast. You can even add like fried chicken on top if you like. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, but without it's totally fine. It tastes so good. Oh my god. I definitely have to start getting my own arugula now. I'll see you guys at dinner. Alright, so it is time for dinner and I thought I would do my version of this Korean dish called kimchi jjigae. And it's basically like a kimchi like stew, I guess you would call it. Um, so I'm just gonna gather all my little things that I usually use. The kimchi, got Chinese sausage that I'm gonna cut up, um, some garlic since Kenny's not here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make or crush some garlic up with that. Um, I got this bone broth soup. I think I'm gonna use that to flavor it instead of water. Um, maybe I'll use like half of this and then half water just to give it extra flavor because I don't have like, usually use like an anchovy stock or something with it, um, but I don't have that. So I think I'll use that. Obviously onions, kimchi, oh, tofu. I think, and basically, it, honestly, there's no really like right way to do it. I like mine sour, like more on the sour side. Um, so my kimchi, I like my kimchi like really fermented. Um, and then obviously, then I got some green onion that I bought from the store. Wow, this is already wilting. Let me wash this. way darker in person but it looks amazing and I cannot wait to eat it <laughs> alrighty these should be done Ooh, get a little bit of everything bowl of rice third time making this so let's see if it's improved I definitely made it spicier this time and I love it oh my god it's so good mmm 
Oh my God. This tastes almost like the restaurant. I think the broth definitely helped enhance the flavor. 